you can't talk underwater. So how do you communicate? You have to use these hand signals. So in this video, I'm going to go over some basic hand signals that all beginner scuba divers should know. Now, before we go over these, I want to say these are not worldwide signals. There's different regions can have different hand signals. Before you do go on a dive in a different area, if the dive master does not go over it, make sure you have the basic hand signals down with that dive master so you know what's going on there. The vast majority of the time, though, the dive master will go over what hand signals he expects to use or you should use while you're down there. And if he doesn't, just ask because you don't want to be down there and not know how to communicate. So first I'll start with scuba hand signals on the surface of the water. And there's really two that you would use the most often. The first is after you get into the water, do your back roll, giant stride entry, whatever you do. So you turn around and go like this and put your hand on top of your head to let them know that all is good. And if all isn't good, and if you're maybe a little further away from the boat, you don't think they can hear you. You could just wave an arm or wave two arms, kind of the international sign of distress to let them know that something is not right with you. Now what you're going to see a lot of while you're diving is the okay signal. Either the dive master is going to ask you, you're going to ask your dive buddy, your dive buddy is going to ask you, but they're going to go, are you okay, basically? And that means, are you okay? Everything okay? And to answer this, I know us in the United States, we're used to giving the thumbs up, but you don't want to use that because that's another signal. So if someone asks, are you okay? Stop a minute, think about it, make sure you are okay, everything's all good, and then just give them the okay sign back. And if something isn't good, you're gonna say something's a little wrong, just wave your hand like this a little bit. Now they're gonna know something's not right, but it could be anything. So go like this and then point to what's wrong. You go like this, say, you point to your ear, they know you're gonna have trouble equalizing. You go like this, you point to your mask, you know there's a problem with your dive mask, maybe it's leaking. So this could mean anything, so just try and point to whatever is wrong with you so then they have a clue of what's going on and then maybe someone can come and help you. And another common sign is for your buddy. Like the dive master may go, where's your buddy? Do you know where your buddy is? Maybe you go like this and buddy. Two fingers together is a sign for buddy. So maybe when it's time to go up, you're going to see your dive master go like this, which means buddy up. And another signal which you're going to see is a thumbs up sign. And no, it doesn't mean okay. This is okay in scuba diving. This means it's time to ascend. Let's go up. And the exact opposite of that is let's go down or let's go deeper. Two thumbs down or thumb down. Now another one which you hope you never see is the run out of air. If someone's out of air, they go like this across their neck, no more air left. And hopefully you never see it and hopefully you never have to use it. So always keep an eye on those air gauges. Now another basic scuba diving hand signal you're going to see a lot of is how much air. So usually the dive master will take two fingers, he's going to hit his palm and go like that, how much air? Or he's going to have his pressure gauge and put his two fingers on top of the pressure gauge to ask you how much air. And there's several different ways to answer and I'll make a separate video about that. But right now I'll use what is common in the Caribbean where I do most of my diving and there's even a couple different ways you can do that. Say you have 1500 PSI left. One way you could do is put one on the arm and then five, or you can do five, 10, 15. Some people use two hands, 10, 15, but you will go over this with the dive master before you go, but the dive master will probably tell you what he expects to see before you go on the dive and how he wants you to answer that question. And if worse comes to worse, just show them your air gauge if you can't get the point across. Now, another basic scuba diving hand signal that you're gonna see probably at the end of every dive is do a safety stop. So you usually see three fingers like this under the hand. So that's three minutes at that 15 foot safety stop. Or you might see something like this at the end of the dive, depending on the dive master and area, of course. You might see your dive master tell you to buddy up, you're going up, and then stop do your three minute safety stop at 15 feet. And just a plain stop, if the dive master wants you to stop for whatever reason, if he wants to check something, he wants to show you something, it's just a very basic stop. And maybe if he had you stop, he wants you to come closer, he wants to check something, he wants to show you something again, so it'll just be a little waving you closer. Very basic, very easy. And if he wants you to look at something or look at him, he'll usually go like this, point two fingers into his eyes. If he wants you to look at him, he'll go like this and then point to himself to look at himself. If he wants you to see maybe there's a beautiful manta ray swimming by, wouldn't that be wonderful? You might go like this and then point to what he wants you to look at. And hopefully you see whatever he's trying to tell you to look at. And if at some point during the dive, maybe you're doing a, a wall dive and he wants you to stay at that depth, 
So I'll just tell you to level off. So this is like level off. Just stay at whatever depth you are now. Do not descend any further. And another scuba diving hand signal that you might see is maybe you're going a little too fast. Maybe you're a little excited or maybe you're in a current dive and the current's pushing you along a little too fast. Or for whatever reason, the dive master wants you to slow down just like this. Just slow down. Another basic one, another basic hand signal, just slow down. And another basic scuba diving hand signal I hope you're never gonna have to use is a low on air sign. Basically, it's just a closed fist and you put it to your chest. And that means that you're low on air. And let's hope you never have to use that one. And if you want some more tips for new scuba divers, just click this video right here, which I discuss common mistakes new scuba divers make. And I hope to see you there. In the meantime, happy and safe diving.